Hey, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to No Grandma Glamma. Hey, all my glamas. Hey, if you new, just stopping by, please hit the subscribe button. Hey, so this look that I got is using the Elisa Edwards palette, and this is from Anastasia. She did a collaboration with uh, Anastasia, um, or Anastasia, however you know you want to pronounce it. Um, so, um, she is a popular drag queen. I don't know if she go by she or he, so I'm just going to say she, uh, is a popular, um, uh, drag queen on social media. She make the sound going, I already know I'm doing it wrong. Her palette is here. So I had sent Nona one so we can do the collab and Nona actually pick the face she wanted us to do. Oh my God. It was it's so hard. Let me see if I can pull it up. Where you at? Right here. Can you guys see? I don't know if you guys can see that. I wonder. You guys probably can't really see it. Um, I don't know why it's so bright. But yeah, we did that collaboration together. So, if you're interested in how I achieved this look with using the Alicia Edward palette, um, stay tuned. And also, I also um, used Juvia's Place on my face. And what I did, I used their foundation. I used um, the concealer, the setting powder, the blush, and the highlighter from Juvia's Place. So, and also, you guys, for the 40 and over club, okay? I got this set from Mickey. This is a beautiful set. This is the earrings. And you guys need to go over and check out the page and check out the Facebook. It's uh, the 40 and Fabulous Club. Um, Makika uh, Riley, she also do makeup. And um, she does um, accessories, sunglasses, all this type of stuff. So you guys, you make sure you check it out. Actually, I have some sunglasses. Let me go get these sunglasses. Okay, these are a pair of glasses I got from her, and they are beautiful, beautiful. So make sure you check out the Forty and Fabulous Club, Accessory Me, uh, Makeup Beauty. If you got interest in this wig, it's a blonde wig with pink in it. This is the only thing that I found that's really, really pink to fit the Alicia Edward um, look. Hi, welcome back to my channel. How everyone is doing? I hope everybody is blessed. The end of the week. So you guys have a good weekend. But let's start this tutorial. So me and Nona. Okay, she's a sweet lady on YouTube. And she do a lot of collaborate, collaborations. I'm sorry. With, with other YouTubers on makeup and all that. So... Her channel is uh, my hashtag, my so-called life, 1977. This is Nona. She does a lot of good things. She loves makeup. Come say hi. That's the baby. I know y'all haven't seen it in a minute. Say hi. Get in the camera. Say hi. Okay. So, yeah. So, we decide, me and Nona, check out her um YouTube and subscribe to her, please. You know, we only get bigger uh, because of you guys. And, you know, we do a lot of informational, a lot of things and test a lot of things to see how it looks on us for not only us, but for you guys. If y'all curious, y'all hit the YouTuber channel, please subscribe to their channel. If you like it or not, subscribe. It's nothing. to It's free. Okay, even though I some of the tutorials I looked at, like, okay, I really didn't like it. But I subscribe anyway because it's free. So, yes, me and Nona decide to do Alicia Edwards uh, palette. We decided to do this. Now, this is the palette here. Open it up. Beautiful colors. So what I did, I set my eye next base and I set um, this color, I believe it's called um, headliner with that. 
So let's go into this eyeshadow look. Looking at the picture. Let's start with the Texas May and put that in the crease. Okay, I'm going to use my Jeffree Star creasing brush. Where you go? And what I'm doing is holding the brush at the tip so I can have very soft strokes. Instead of just packing it on, it blends better with, you know, pigment colors if you hold it here. So now I'm going to take a smaller brush. And this is by Jaclyn Hill. Um, I'm going to go into, is that B, B, D, C? Here. And I'm gonna put that straight into the crease. Again, holding my brush here. I'm gonna pack on this beast. And this this matted black here using the Jeffree Star packing brush. So now I'm gonna take my Morphe brush. This is the 441 brush. Yeah. And I'm gonna go back until that Texas May again. I'm going to take that unicorn tree, which is that color here, and I'm going to put that on my lid, halfway going towards the back. It's a little fallout, but it's okay. I'm going to take the brush that came with the palette. And I'm going to go back into the headliner, that white, and put that at the beginning of my, uh, my lid, mostly in the inner corner. Now I'm going to take that same black and smudge out my top lash line. And I'm going to use this brush for that, the Jaclyn Hill brush. So now I'm going to go back into that unicorn tribe with the Jaclyn Hamper brush. And this is the unicorn tribe. Beginning of my crease with this color. Hi guys. So what I did, I went off camera just to... Um, examine her picture again and this is what I came up with so I'm gonna try to recreate the other eye doing it the same way I don't know if I can do that but I'm going to try and with the Patrick star creasing brush and go back until that um, Texas made right. putting it in our crease We're going to take the Jaclyn Hill brush. We're going to go into that BBC. We're going to put that in our crease, but we're basically going to draw that in. We're going to go in. Okay. We're going to start here, and then we're going to develop a V. Now we're going to pack on this beast, that's that black. We use the same Jaclyn Hill brush. I'm trying to go precisely as I can. And her makeup comes near her 
eyebrow. So we're like way up there. We're gonna go with this Jeffree Star packing brush and we're gonna go into Unicorn Tribe. And we're gonna put that in our lid but going towards the back of our lid. Now we're gonna go into this Beyond. A little shimmer is in that. And we're gonna go on top of the Unicorn Tribe and towards the beginning of our eye. So now I'm going back with that Jaclyn Hill brush because it's so precise. And I'm going to go back into Headliner. That's the white color we started off with earlier. Take the same brush, go back into that beast, and we're going to put that liner um, and buff that out as a liner. See that dark there above her eyelashes and how it's going into the V? So now we're going to go ahead and take the Jeffree Star brush again. We're going to go in to that Texas made very lightly. And now we're building it up towards our eyebrows. So now what I'm doing, I'm taking that Beyond color here and I'm blending everything out. Everything out. I'm not touching the white. So I'm just guessing about the bottom um, lash line and that's why I went on and took that beyond and just went here. Um, so what I'm going to do is take that precise brush again. It's not a precise brush, I'm calling it that, the Jaclyn Hill brush. And I'm going to go ahead and put that BBC also at the bottom. So you guys, I'm going to clean up the look. This is the finished look. Now, I am going to also put this KISS. I believe this is KISS. M-K-K-M. I don't know. Beauty Supply. And put that in my waterline. Okay, you guys, so I'm just going to clean up and I'll be back with the finished look. So, you guys, this is the finished look. I'm wearing the sunglasses because this is what you get for the 4 year over club. And it says for me, um, CEO Makika Riley, please go check that out. I will leave that link um, also. And don't forget, check out Nona page. It's hashtag my so-called life 1977. We... Um, Try to redo this look from the Alicia um, Edwards palette. And uh, I think I did an okay job. This was not an easy look. I can't wait to see what Nona going to do. But yeah, this palette is beautiful. I had sent this to Nona maybe a couple weeks ago or a month ago. And so I sent her the palette. She picked the look. And this is what the look turned out to be. I also used Julius um, Place. I was waiting on my setting powder, my concealer, which came. I couldn't wait to get into that. I used the foundation, the concealer, the setting powder, the blush, the highlight. All that's from Julius Place. And don't forget to check out uh, the Foyer Fabulous Club. Because also, for the accessory me, this is what I got for the accessory me. It's a very beautiful necklace. Nothing to go further down. No, 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 no. Don't you think that? And these are the earrings. So this wig has a little streak of pink in it. You really can't tell. It looks mostly platinum, but it is pink. And I see that my eyelashes, oh my God, it's coming up. Why y'all didn't tell me that? Okay, well. This look is over anyway. I'm about to wash all this stuff off and go to work. So don't forget, you guys, to like this video. If you enjoyed this video, hit that bell to notify you when I upload videos. And most importantly, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. So until I see you guys again, no grandma, glamour.